friends, this is Mr. Mullet Gaming presenting a review show focused on the RPG video game genre. Nostalgic undertones, beautiful art design, and lovable characters are just a few descriptions which can be made about Sea of Stars. I've reviewed 13 video games on this channel so far, and Sea of Stars is a title that I truly cherish. Traversing between high fantasy and science fiction, Sea of Stars brings many elements of 16-bit RPGs of the 90s to the present day. Acting as a love letter to these fantastic games of the past, Sea of Stars does it well and does it right. So, what is it that makes this game so special? To answer this question, you'll first need to put on your special Eclipse viewing glasses, cook a delicious meal by an open fire, and prepare your sea leg jelly and lubber. You ready? Let's go ahead and check it out. Developed by Sabotage Studio and released on all modern platforms and PC on August 29th, 2023, Sea of Stars is influenced by classic RPGs such as Breath of Fire, Super Mario RPG, Secret of Mana, and most notable, Chrono Trigger. Announced as a Kickstarter campaign at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, Sabotage Studio used around 10% of the Kickstarter to fund the project. Set in the world of Sabotage Studio's action platformer, The Messenger, the developers set out to create an ambitious title which tapped into a nostalgic player experience. Well folks, it's that time. This segment is an unpaid plug where I plug other content creators without receiving a dime. You could say I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart, or one can say I have no choice in the matter. In any instance, I have something special for you. If you enjoy indie video games like Sea of Stars, then the Indie Quest podcast is for you. Join Blink, Captain Drachma, and Frantic, three handsome fellas who will take you on an adventure celebrating the indie and obscure. Some may say this show is about shining a spotlight on smaller games, which are inspiring and make us feel things. The fellows recently covered Sea of Stars and have a catalog of past games which they've discussed. That's the Indie Quest podcast found anywhere where podcasts are available. Setting out to prove themselves as solstice warriors, Belair and Zeo embark on an epic journey which eventually leads them to the Sea of Stars. Equipped with the ability to harness Eclipse magic, Solstice Warriors are born on the summer and winter solstices and must train for many years to be strong enough to defeat dwellers. Now, I could go on with a long monologue which dives deep into this story, but I feel it is one of many high points found in Sea of Stars, it needs to be fully experienced by the player. Overall, the game has a traditional plot centering on a hero, well, in this case, two, as they travel the unique world meeting characters, some of whom join the party. Characters develop a strong bond and utilize teamwork to dispel evil. You guessed it, a plot twist presents itself halfway throughout the game, which leads to an epic end battle. It's a comfortable story which, at times, tugs on emotional heartstrings. But to be true to my perspective of a spoiler-friendly review, I'll leave it at this. Sea of Stars features turn-based combat and puzzle solving as players progress through the game. Taking inspiration from Super Mario RPG and the Paper Mario series, Sea of Stars utilizes timed inputs during battle. Precisely hitting buttons at the right time will deal bonus damage points. This adds more complexity and engagement to fighting. Instead of falling into the routine of mindless battles where players are continually hitting the same button, Sea of Stars encourages players to pay attention and timed battle moves to receive the most out of the experience. Additionally, battles will include opportunities to lock rivals out from a turn if the right combination of attacks are utilized. 
This is shown with an item indicator above the enemy. Most important when battling bosses, I found this component difficult to execute at times. Standard enemies were a little easier, which was very satisfying once accomplished. Dungeon design was done well, and grinding to build experience points was not necessary. Sea of Stars' great pacing and encounter rate was not a problem. It would be a disservice to this game if I did not discuss wheels. This game within a game is fantastic. Designed as its own side adventure, players set out to challenge other champions across the land. Players choose two of six characters, each with their own special ability to spar against rivals. Spinning a roulette wheel offers several options for players to choose from. Depending on the player's particular goal for that turn, individuals can lock out offensive or defensive abilities. Three turns are allotted, and an action will commence by each player for that turn. This continues until a player is defeated or the game ends in a draw. It's not a hard game to understand and master, and I had no issues beating all the champions and becoming the best wheels competitor across the land. Where does one start when discussing a game which had so much impact and provided such an excellent experience? To make a bold statement, I feel Sea of Stars is the best RPG that I've ever played. Perhaps it was my mindset during my playthrough, or the nostalgic feeling I had. But Sea of Stars offers so much which warrants further discussion. One of the most phenomenal aspects of Sea of Stars is the music. The songs were primarily composed by Yashinori Mitsuda, who contributed to the soundtracks of Xenogears, Chrono Cross, and Chrono Trigger. The battle theme, boss music, and music from The Mountain Trail and Moon Cradle were some of my favorite songs. The music brings this game together as the story and characters' emotions are conveyed through the soundtrack. For a retro-inspired game, the sprite design is fantastic. Additionally, the cutscenes offer an anime-inspired art design and are beautifully done. However, I would have liked to have seen more of these cutscenes throughout the game. The overworld, dungeon, and area design also looked very good. Amazing detail and vibrant colors brought everything together while essentially homing in on that retro look, but also making it modern without overemphasizing that aesthetic. Sea of Stars is comfort food for me. I thoroughly enjoyed my playthrough and will eagerly play this game again in the future. Influence from games of the past. Sea of Stars creates its own unique adventure while seemingly revitalizing turn-based combat. It's not a challenging game and casual players can complete it in about 25 hours. Going for completionist status I'm currently at 55 hours with both endings achieved. I give Sea of Stars an A+. It's safe to say that Sea of Stars adds to this growing list of fantastic retro-inspired RPGs. With so much more to say about this game, I find myself conflicted about the right words and emotions to express during these closing remarks. Nevertheless, I will end with this understanding this review is my love letter to Sea of Stars, and this game is worth one's time. If you played this game before, please let me know about your experience in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Keep grinding. Fresh milk. Fresh milk. Fresh milk. Fresh.